You're live, buddy. So you would think that a CPA is good with deadlines, but you'd be wrong. It's taking me quite a while to get this video out, even though I've had this put together for a long time now. It's finally here. This is the third part of my budget 1022 target build. And we'll be talking about the 18 inch stainless steel green mountain barrel right there. It cost me a grand total of $120 with $20 of that being shipping. I think they're a little bit more expensive now, maybe 120 or so plus shipping, but still one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest stainless steel full barrel for 1022. And I am, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, we'll talk about the accuracy here in a minute, but reliability wise has been great too. I shot hundreds of rounds of random stuff through it and it hasn't given me any issues. Extraction, ejection, ejection is fine with the 10 round magazines that 25 rounders aren't feeding quite well, but I think that's either the stock or maybe the magazine here, the magazine catch. Oh, I'm hoping it is. I got this kid um, spring kit. It's a little bit stiffer. I'm hoping that if I replace that, it'll hold the mag a little bit tighter and fix that issue for me. The installation was super easy. I mean, I'm not good, you know, me and tools don't get along, but it was not a hard installation at all. And it's hasn't come loose or anything. It's it's great. I sh I have shot all the loads you see that back there. I do not have paper for this wolf match extra. I did shoot a little bit. The, did not look impressive at all. So I didn't even go down range to get my target. But it did not agree with this with this barrel. And just for reference, that was. I think $75 for 500, so it's pretty, it's fairly expensive. And now to the paper, uh, a Gilai rifle match. I shot this in the last video with a stock barrel and it was getting 2.6, 1.9 inches. And here is getting 1.2, 1.4. So pretty good improvement right there. And then a Gila, tar um, a Gila target. <coughs> was getting 1.4, 1.6, that's not too bad. It does get better. I also shot this stuff, high velocity mash from Federal, 40 grainers. Um, in the last video with the stock barrel, that was getting two and a half, three inches, not very impressive in here. Right in the center you see 0.95. Up top, we've got 1.1. And then Norma shot 1.3, 1.8. But the Federal is great. That's, I mean, right there is about an inch. The average is right about an inch at 100 yards. Just, if I didn't mention that, all of these targets are at, uh, at 100 yards. And this is the Ely stuff, and this is the Norma. Ely 1.2, 1.0, 1.6, not too bad. And then we get, I think, my favorite load here, and it's like a match made in heaven, CCI extended velocity. This is $25 last I checked for $500. Um, for example, this was years ago, $42 for $500, Nagila, and the Wolf was $75. So this is some of the cheapest ammo that you can find. And at 100 yards an inch, 0.8 of an inch, that's just awesome. 
and you'll see I have more targets with CCI center velocity, and it's always around an inch. Elite Club was 1.1, 1.6, 1.0, but that stuff is expensive and kind of hard to find in my experience, at least locally, so I probably won't be getting more of that. CCI AR is just a thing like a mini mag, 40 grainers. 0.9, I think I kind of got lucky here. I didn't, I don't expect it to shoot that well consistently. Like here is 1.5, 36 grain mini mags. Um, did not like it. 2.7 and 2.6. And then we're back to the standard velocity again. We got an inch, 1.1. 1.1, it's just consistently 1.1 inches. We've got green tag, this is $17 a while ago. This is CCI's match ammo. Um, first group was 0.742, and then 1.8, CCI's 36 mini max, 0.9, 1.7. The yellow stuff, Aguila Super Extra, it's like a mini mag basically, 2.1, 1.5. I'm not sure what happened with this standard velocity group with this shot right here. I, I don't know if it was the ammo because I don't think I yanked it that much. So 2.7, but right below that, we're again, we're back under an inch. And then under an inch again, 0.8. Rifle match, 1.5, 1.7. And a bunch of stuff here. Ely under an inch, normal 1.2 under an inch for Ely. And again, center velocity, good old center velocity, 1.6, 1.1 rather, excuse me. Aguila, 1.7, but within it shoots at 1.7 right next to it. And Aguila target, 1.6, 2.2. So again, the center velocity is just very, very consistent and very, very cheap. So I think for this project, this is gonna be what I go with. Overall, I'm very happy with everything that I've, I've got here. I did end up replacing the scope. I had the cheap Cabela's one. The biggest problem was no zero stop and the elevation turn didn't move up as you were going up and down. So if you wanna shoot it at 200 yards, you, uh, you, and then you go back to your zero, it's, it's kind of a pain. There wasn't enough in, in the elevation turret and in the reticle with the 20 MOA base to get me out to 300. I think I was holding out in space a little bit. And with this one, it's no problem. This is an Nikon 4 to 16. I'll have a video on this one too. So I think that wraps it up. We'll, I included some footage at 200 yards we shot a while ago, and I think we'll try to get out there soon again and get some footage at two or 300 yards for you guys. At a two-thirds EPSIC, it's, it's boring. It's just fast as you can pull the trigger. So that's why when they get those 25 rounders working, because it, the tens are go very quickly. So all right, any questions, post them down below. And we'll be back soon with more videos. Thank you.